Hey friends, Indulger here back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Hope you're doing well out there. We're going to jump right into it. This is Ether Raid's Anima Astra season. This is not a mistake. This is actually Carrot running a dark team on the wrong season. So whatever happens here, I feel like we've got to punish them for this. I cannot lose this fight. We've got a plus seven Ellie Wood with a lunge. A Shimmer whose weapon I don't quite understand. I don't really understand why uh, Adel's going to be able to counter her, but we're going to see here in a second after I set up. Basically, just a, just, just a normal plonk. I'm shutting down the L because he can't stop Fjorm's HP check. And this is the first Ashura fight of the week. And she is she she's not no panicking Adel here. So let's let's watch this. I never saw the rally trap. And then because there's an aerobatics, there's another hit there. And I just, just barely missed the freaking one-hit kill. And then... Uh, <laughs> I'm just dumb. I was so sad. Uh, just stupid. All right, so that's how we start the week off. You know, it's whatever. So that that is a way. I, I continue to say the best way to deal with Adels and general, you know, tanks in general, is just run some lunges. Still the scariest thing. You know, years in, lunges is still the scariest thing for my tanks. And now I have to make a decision. Do I want to take this or not? So I'm going to shove up Fjorm here. I should just be able to take a hit from Triandra. She's not going to get that move off. Well, I guess she could get it off Fjorm. But, you know, Fjorm's got 70 HP. I think she's okay. And now I have to make a decision. I'm angry. I don't want to take this. But it's also day one. So I take it. Plus, it completely destroys them. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we get some spite play there. I mean, that's... What is that? I don't even know what it is. Is that like a minus 100? Like, that's the wrong season. So, keep that in mind. That's a minus 40 on offense. I'm pretty happy with my defensive uh, results on, and my Astro for the most part. So, I, yet again, we're going to be locked into this 1,000 to 3,000 range on AR if I had to guess. All right, so there's going to be a weird cut here. And I apologize. This is actually the one of at least two so far this week where I've screwed up where I feel the team. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing Adel around the map because I'm angry at myself. I didn't actually resume recording. Uh, and just take my word for it, guys. If you have a defensive panel and it's Adel bonus week, there's really not much you're going to do. Now, that Surter was there, did 20 damage to me. There's no armor effective units. Or was there? Was there an I done there? I don't even know. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to just get this as fast as we can because I don't know how many guys, how many more times you guys need to see Adel Plonks. But while we clear the rest of this out, this uh, dude that I don't know the name of, Dazla, okay, I've yes. seen him, like, once, ever. Basically, he's useless, right? Because can't you just do the same thing that Winter Celia does? So, I, you never see him. Well, almost made a mistake. <laughs> I don't, don't want to do that. Uh, and I can shoot the Wings of Mercy and get that pot and set up a Shara here. So, let's, let's talk about a Shara while we're waiting. Um... She's okay. You know, if she was a dragon or a beast, which, I mean, I, first of all, I love a share. I've been asking for a share forever. I've been watching my community posts. I'm really excited she's in the game. So let's just get that out of the way. I'm really excited she's in the game. I'm really excited she's an offensive mythic because, um, I, yeah, I, I really wouldn't want to play with her on the defensive side. But anyway, um, it's been tough so far to get her in position to do everything I wanted to do. I think running tactics on her S slot is probably the best case scenario because that helps her and the team. And you generally don't want her going out in the fray. Now, you can use her for multi-tanks. And Okay, I'm setting up. Okay, this is going to be another weird cut. So just be, be clear. There's a beast killer Flora here. Uh, wh what is Adel going to do against this Flora? Are we going to be able to take it or on? Oh, my God. Get, hold on to your seat. Oh, and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you think I learned my lesson after the first time? I think this was the same day. I think I made these 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 cuts in the same day. I'm such an idiot. Uh, so there you go. Nope, not good enough. As I've mentioned several times throughout uh, this week, or well, actually last week's videos with Adel, it's her bonus week. You generally can't stop her. She's just not going to. And here, okay. So I'm, I don't really understand this Shamir hit. Do I look at her weapon? Because I I don't understand why I'm countering her. Somebody tell me. It must be something obvious, but I swear her weapon says you can't counterattack if you have more speed. I think it's speed? Like, clearly you have more speed, so I, I, I don't really understand why I'm able to beat her. Now, I am isolationing the Azura, so I was checking that. I have, I have no 
no concerns. Tell me, tell me what happened there. I don't have a Shamir, so it's very difficult for me to check. I'm too lazy to go look at, like, Game Press or something. So somebody in the comments below, tell me why I'm able to counter her. But there you go. You know, just playing Guess the Trap. When you're playing Guess the Trap, make sure you hit the actual lightning bolt panels first, because then if you hit the real one, you can't go. <laughs> there you go. I don't even remember what the last thing I was saying was. What were we talking about? I don't know. With the magic of pausing, I was able to actually go look at what I just said. Uh, and then we were talking about Oshara, so we're going to look at this duo leaf here. Ooh, it's Capline. Ooh, piece of candy. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this looks pretty scary. I don't know about that speed on, on Sigurd there. It's a little weird. This is a python with a coral bow. Okay, Lelina with... It's a double... Ah, this is just a mistake I make. Let's, let's talk about Oshara, because this is going to be Oshara's first combat. As I've said, it's been a little uh, hit and miss so far for me. I generally am using, using her more support, more of the null panic. You know, her and Caden are definitely BFFs. And now I'm going to engage this leaf because I thought I had him isolationed. I didn't think he's going to be in range to anybody, but then I make a mistake here and I throw a Reagan to the left. And I got to do one of two things. I need to have Caden support Shara or Caden support Adel. And this was a mistake. If I would have had Caden support Shara, I think this won't go the way it does. So I get hit there. I was tanking that hit and can't quite kill him. Two, two attacks short. So that'll come into play like during her bonus week. She's just strong enough to naturally kill him. I gotta keep that in mind. Now, so this was a, again, make a decision if I want to keep this. I, I pretty much got this cleared. I, I think, honestly think if I just put a share, one more unit to the right, I would have avoided the leaf. I, I probably would have been okay. And even if I would have put Caden over there, I probably would have been okay. I don't think I would have felled the Sigurd, but there was nobody that was really going to hit me other than the Sayro, so just a my bad. I just didn't think long enough, and I ended up taking a unit loss. But, you know, I don't know, guys. For me, AR's become to the point where I just, and I've mentioned several times, I'm in this weird zone where I can't get top 1,000. I just can't do it. So it just doesn't matter anymore. I can take one or two unit losses a week, and I've got Dragon Effective with Reagan here. I'm just going to go... Get in position to get the ether, get rid of the Saros, and then get rid of the last remaining unit, and then just have Ronica clink off me. So what that did, that test the trap. Don't always test the trap uh, and actually have it have utility for me. But now we've got two units in Wings of Mercy range. I could have actually used that dancer to get in position, but I'm just going to simply do a big brain play of the day by Wings of Mercy over there and just finishing up as fast as we can. And think, think, think. Process. Indulger, you, you got I basically I'm scanning the field to make sure I got all the ether. <laughs> That's happened before. Let's do another one. All right, so the, I'm showing 150 ether here. I'm going to double up. Uh, I'm not going to be as aggressive as I was last week where I literally 50 every fight. <laughs> that was fun. Never have, never done that before. Um, what do we got here? I promise no more cuts, at least for the videos I've already recorded. No more, no more strange cuts. And uh, this Ike scares me. He's running, what was that, Spurn or Repel? I, I believe that pushes you back, so I am not going over that side. Nah, that, that, again, one of the things that can disrupt Adel are lunges and, and, and shoves, or you know, what is it called? It's not hit and run, it's the, I don't know, drag backs. You know, I don't, I, it's funny, I just don't see that. I, it's always been a surprise to me that more defense teams don't run sort of positional changes. You see lunge all the time, but drag backs? Not, not, not very, not very common. So, here's a mistake I made. Uh, I did not put the Ashera next to the Adel, so she didn't get no panic. And there is a panic there with Thrasir, although I don't believe it will get off. And I'm, I think I'm saying this. See how I missed the res? I think you need to be, you know, Ashera will give you res if you're next to her, but I screwed up. I had really no reason not to just put her there. I could have just simply stepped back and I messed up, so it's so my bad. I'm, I'm learning the positions I need to be in yeah. with Ashera and others. Uh, I mean, so they, I fielded two different teams, one featuring Fjorm and one featuring a dancer. Um, I didn't actually go over the rest of the teams. Hector's still in slot, uh, team five, yes. and then I, I've got Careful. other versions Careful. of Adel as well. I'm trying to figure out what makes sense, because I do have two Adels, and I do have them blessed completely uh, for these respective modes. I think, I'm not sure which I, well, actually, that's not true. Adel, for sure, is much better in light, because she's just got, Peony and Miller are just, just, are too useful. But, I, you know, it's no slouch. 
I'm not even bothering to tell you what's going on here, guys. I mean, you can witness the destruction. Adel's insane, like, especially this week. So, uh, you know, uh, Naga's useful, though. With all the dragons, with the Seiroses and the Dumas, yes. having a Naga be friends with Adel is good. And then Caden, once again, I also have two Cadens. So, <laughs> this might just become the freaking Adel show if uh, she continues to perform as well as she has been doing. Um post bonus week now all i'm gonna do here is just bait this makaya out again our effectiveness our effectiveness doesn't matter you can only hit me once unless you have no follow-up that makaya does not have no follow-up nor would it matter anyway i'm running 50 res so i'm just gonna step right back make sure i'm in cadence range and then take one for the team here uh with naga and it's, it's pretty much game over what else do i have to do can I get both of those ethers right now? Yep, there's one, there's two, and can I sure do it? Yeah, let's let's get some SP for my girl. I gotta I gotta give her something other than glacies because I don't think glacies is necessarily a great AR <laughs> special to be honest. So right, it just that's me hitting auto learn and wasn't looking. Um, she does have a fair bit of skill, so it took me a little bit of time to crank those out. All right, let's keep going. This is a hundred with lying with an armored boots Duma. If I recall, this one was a little tricky. I had to think about what I want in isolation here. I've got two dancers. I've got a rally that's showing on the Thrasir. Uh, Duma is running boots. And so Duma, in combination with that catapult, are going to knock my two favorite structures out, Bolt Tower and Healing Tower. You can see the Wings of Mercy. She's the seventh slot. So the, the, the problem here, if I shut down that rally... There's no way Saveros can do anything. So this is going to be yet another plonk. And I was going through the B skills. There's the rally. There's there's no Wings of Mercy on like anyone of con anybody of consequence. The Doomer has Wings of Mercy, but it doesn't matter. That's not going to do anything. So, uh, and then there's the the Panic Manor there, which doesn't do anything. Although yet yeah, I make I get again another mistake here. So, I was just testing that trap. It doesn't really matter. I mean, so I know I'm going to lose the healing tower, but I have Fjorm right there to deal with the aftermath, as long as it wasn't a 50. I love you. I'm just I'm just showing you how much healing I can do. So, I'm not going to get fully restored, but it's going to be good enough to proceed. But note, however, the state of the field. Caden is not getting no panicked because he's not next to Ashera. I don't see this until too late. I'm going to do my repo dance. Yes. And yes, I break the panic manner, but but as I show right here, this is funny. I, I literally look at this. There's a ninny in here yeah. with, uh, I'm just trying to make sure there's nobody, nobody has wings of mercy or anything. One more scout here. There's a ground orders on the peony, which always seems to screw me somehow. But the way the seven slot is configured, I don't see how it's going to work. It's, it's infantry pulse. That B slot is there. So what do I do, guys? What do I do? I just literally look at that B slot. I'm just looking at B slots for Wings of Mercy. I wasn't look, actually looking for anything else. I just go ahead and put that Naga right behind Caden. Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead and do it. Put that Naga right behind Caden. So I'm trying to get dragon buffs for Fjorm. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so there goes the panic on the Caden, and now he's useless. But at the end of the day, it's bonus. It'll week, guys. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. You can keep doing anything you want. You can hit me that way. Yeah, I hurt a little bit, but I just healed 13 damage. You can heal me up some more. Thanks. I'll bet that delta of eight, and you can hit me some more. Oh, that hurt a little bit, but there's nobody else on the field, and that's that'll pretty much do it. So, uh, yeah, having that Caden panicked hurt, but I'm going to see if we can get rid of this ninny. Nope. Yep. <laughs> sure is strong, guys. Sure is strong. I don't think... What was she running there? Was she running... Yeah, she had a bunch of stuff. I don't know what the uh, Reagan was fielding, so how much did I get for her blade tome? I really like Ashera. You know, again, you can't use her as a... In, I wouldn't use her as a tank. She's just sort of a mop-up unit, much like much like Air, in the sense that Air is, you know, offensively strong. She doesn't really get a lot of... Uh, love in that angle but she's fast and she's strong and she's she's got a good special i believe what what does she run that's not the glacies it's the other one uh her default special so i ashera is even more offensively potent i'm just setting up the reg in here to get that ether and now i have to decide do i want to run away or do i want to stand and fight so this is a pretty scary looking thrasir with a special ready to go through all the infantry pulse that's going on here and I'm just going to stand and fight because I can heal. And I'm getting Caden buffs. There's no more panic. I feel like I can take this. 
And again, keep this in mind, a non-bonus week. So it took 27 damage, 12. So I would have been, I would have hurt. I would have crippled me a lot. But again, fatal bonus week. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that ether with Reagan and just come on, come on right back. There's really no need to not to. And then I, I, somebody should be able to get this kill. Who's got, we got dragon effectiveness all over the field. Dragon effective Cadenness with color advantage. Yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. Oh, let's get the SP, knock that out, and then move on to the next one. So, yeah, Shara's been pretty helpful so far. I really do like her a lot. I just got to be much better with how I field her. Moving on. Let's do something different. Let's do a rematch. Zephyr was the first person to beat my defense this week. Let's see if we can get a little bit of revenge. Oh, about the spite here on the channel. For sure. Um... So this is really just built around this Adel. I mean, I don't, this, this Veronica's not even running an A slot. It's a plus 10 Zeros, though, so. I, I mean, I don't really understand. It's plus 10 Adel, it's plus 10 Zeros. But this Veronica doesn't have an A slot? <laughs> it's weird. So Elliewood has Wings of Mercy, which is a bit strange. I mean, you throw this man a lunge or something, it probably works a lot better. Now, one of the things that this fight taught me is that I should not underestimate Mia. Because Adel can't kill her. Adel doesn't double on enemy phase, and she has percent reduction. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to be wary in the future. It could be a very interesting Wings of Mercy trap, the way she functions. I, mean, I, I don't really ever see anybody talk about having Adel with quick repost, but that might be useful in that situation. So I don't believe me, it prevents doubles. Yes. Okay, so, I mean, I, ana I analyzed this field, and just there's there's nothing going on in the left. that They can't hit me here. The Veronica it doesn't have me. There's no odd Tempest or even Tempest on the Seros. There's no Dancer here, and the, the Elliewood is 7th slot restricted. So, as soon as I get rid of this Adel, which like, they just assumed was impossible, like, I don't... I don't <laughs> you just gotta use Adel versus Adel. And now, uh, because the... The bolt tower's gone off. They can't do anything to stop me. Now I am mentioning that the Reinhardt's here, so I can't I can't pick up that Sabro, so I'm just gonna have to plonk, but there's, there's just nothing here. So a bit of an odd team. I don't really know don't know how it synergizes. I mean they have the units for it. They got a bunch of plus ten scary things, but when you don't construct it in a way that makes sense, no offense ever, this was pretty easy. So I'm just gonna figure out what to do with Naga here. I don't think I need dragon effectiveness. Because the Seros isn't getting healed. So I just sit right here. Veronica does her thing with no dancer. She's off in no man's land. Can't finish the Elliewood, but again, with no Gale Force or Lunge, there's nothing they can do. So look at that Mia hit. That that was the most interesting takeaway from this fight for me, is that Mia's a pretty decent Edelgard counter if you can parlay that into something else, like an armor effective strike. I know that that's not the trap now. Veronica can't do anything. She's completely destroyed. And all I have to do is walk up, get this ether, let her take a hit. Never a problem, especially with Mystic Boost. Mystic Boost does zero damage. And we're home free. I can get that kill. There we go. So not much to learn from that, other than the fact that Mia is a decent Adel play. You don't see her too much, and she hasn't historically been too much of a threat. She's kind of one of the weakest duo units. Right, we're going to double up again. But, you know, Kane's never had a problem with her whatsoever with his Vengeful. Adel does, though. Adel does. All right, so another Adel in the corner. You guys just love your Adels in the corner. Two Wings of Mercy dancers with Infantry Pulse. I don't know what the Phantom Res is for. Was she running something else? I missed that. Ground Orders Rally Trap. So this is the Ground Orders in that, which always scares me because then she's going to make any unit she rallies move three. She was like the, the Sigurd before Sigurd was. <laughs> Legendary Sigurd. Um, so one of the things, it's Fortress 5 and they had, the wrong, they had the wrong school here. I noticed that. I saw that infantry school. I was like, I don't normally check the fortress, but I was like, that infantry school looks out of place. It's, it's supposed to be Cav... I mean, I didn't immediately look at him. <laughs> My brain doesn't work that way. I didn't, didn't, didn't think, oh, well, just look for the, the cav structure. But as soon as I saw that there was, was no fortress, I'm just going to make this a play where I plonk Adel right in their face. And and to be honest, this gets pretty dicey, and I don't think an Adel with non-bonus stats and 
a level fortress five plus one could do what I'm about to do. But here's what I do. I just throw her up. Go after the threat here. I didn't think it wasn't the trap. So, I mean, I expected that, and that's exactly what happened. So, I just... I stopped the rally. I thought I stopped the second dance, but yet again, I'm so dumb. Ground orders is a thing. And even though that she's gravity, it's ground orders. Like, I feel like gravity should supersede ground orders. I don't know. It just seems wrong. I, we still don't have a unit that stops movement. One of these days, guys, I've been predicting this in my Discord for, I don't know, years? It hasn't happened yet. I hate orders so much. So here's ground orders number one. No big deal. I healed. Here's ground orders number two. Okay, I'm getting a little scared. So you're actually starting to damage me now. And this is only a seven delta. But again, if you throw that fortress non-buffs in there, I mean, you start really cracking her a bit. And maybe that kills me. But it doesn't. So, I mean, that, that was tough. That's a pretty good... Map construction, but now this is reminiscent of the old Adel days, uh, the normal Adel. What is it? She brave? Or I just clean up with Gale Force. And at this point, I'm just going to talk to you because there's not much else to say. One, one of the dip most difficult things to get this pot is that I, it's not a bad corner play. Like, I just, I, I, guys, you know my feelings on this. If you're first time you've been watching, I hate this play. I hate putting units in, in a box. It's just stupid. Just don't do that. I mean, I'd rather let her run free. Let her run free. Take take one of those away. It, it doesn't... Are you trying to stall me? Like, no. I'm just going to get rid of the of the healing tower now. And the only problem here is that this stupid ether is in the bottom where I'm out of position. Adel, Adel has to stop Adel. And... Well, actually, no. I, I make this more complicated than it needs to be. All I need to do is take that Naga, break the structure, and then pivot across. But, uh, you know, I gotta be fancier than that, I guess. I'm gonna test this trap and then do a double repo. Although I don't need to do a double repo. I mean, I'm, getting, I'm being more fancier for my own good. I guess I wanted to get... No, I guess I wanted the reposition. I wanted to get Cadence buff. So that, that was useful. I got Cadence buffs. And then... Because of Fortress Disadvantage, they're just going to get blasted here, and it's it's over. I'll do it. We should have one more fight. Let's go. Let's do one more and then call it a week, guys. This is the final fight of the week. Went all Adel all the time. Yet again, two weeks in a row. This will wrap up Adel's bonus week. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. We're going to fight an odd recovery Veronica, which, with a 7 slot Seros, doesn't really do much here because it can't escape and they're really just going for firepower. I, I have to be wary of this odd Tempest Dimitri because he can slip screen me, but yes. as long as I have some sort of tank That's that can tank this. all the. This Rashir is going to hurt a bit. The Lina would hurt a bit. But I'm using Fjorm to first shut down the Dancer on an even turn. What, what turn? This, is, this is turn one. So I'm going to see Odd Recovery play out here. And I can't quite get everything I want. I can't get Null Panic buffs. I don't really need Null Panic buffs. Again, Thrasir works that if you can finish her, she doesn't get Null Panic off. Or she doesn't get Panic off with her. C slot, or D I didn't even look. <laughs> Most of the time, you're not going to mess with their C or C slot, but. So, I'm just going to throw Adel up here, as pretty much per usual this week. I was hoping to break that healing tower because I would greatly simplify this fight in turn three and beyond. And I'm simply just going to smite up Caden. I can't do anything else. I'm going to get Caden buffs. There's nobody in the back line or the front line that's going to be able to stop the back line action here. And it's really just picking off this this year. So this is going to hurt a bit, but she doesn't have a special ready. Get it all back. So it really didn't hurt that much. And because I've shut the dancer down, uh, she can't dance Lelina. Although, even if Lelina got danced, like, Marabolus would have blocked, right? Where was she at? Maybe maybe not. Maybe, was she in the corner? I've already forgotten. So at this point, I'm just going to use my Gale Force play here. After thinking about it for a time. Break the healing tower. 
I, I had to do I had to take a little bit to see if I could stop this Lolina. Even if I didn't, it should be fine. But oh, she actually dies right on the dot. <laughs> if she didn't fall there, I would have been interested to see how that would have played out. Now on a non-bonus Adel week, I don't get that kill. I so I'm a little concerned. We'll see how she fares. If this is going to be a fallen Ike situation where I just destroyed everybody on his bonus weeks, and then he had he had real trouble. Like maintaining that level of dominance, but Adel, I love you. <laughs> this has been a fun two weeks at the very least, so that'll wrap up the offensive side of Ether Raids. Thanks, Ryan. And do 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 do. So this is 400, 394 points, 400 essentially. It'll put me in tier 39 just on the dot because my defensive my defensive results lost three times in the last four days that counted. Which is really surprising and disappointing, but at the end of the day, I still got 39. <laughs> I still did it. So I'm going to run through the top 50 for both my friends list and top players if you're not interested in this. That's cool. Thanks for watching. See you here next time. Please subscribe if you want to see more Fire Emblem Heroes content. Generally try to do weekly AR series. Hope you enjoyed this week and last week. I promise it shouldn't be more, or it shouldn't be 100% Adel from going on from here. It's not like I didn't make teams, guys. I made other teams. <laughs> it just, there was no need to use them. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in myself because I did take two losses this week. But as I've mentioned several times, what does it matter? I mean, I guess I was kind of close top 1,000 if I would have got that 60, but you know, the defense let me down anyway, so. What you gonna do? Let me know what your comments are on Adel and the state of the AR play. I'm gonna probably be doing a summoning session here shortly because we're gonna get our final, our final mythic. We don't have a dark mythic. Um, what's her name? It's not Dagger. The other one. Not. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. It should be. Uh, it's a sparkable unit. So see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.